Hi, I'm Hella Brand. I'm the physician assistant who works at Banner Alzheimer's Institute. I'm so glad you could all join today for a discussion on as dementia progresses. We're going to be looking specifically at the middle or moderate stage of Alzheimer's disease. Let's talk first about what our objectives are for the class today. First off, we want to talk about what are the changes in memory, thinking, and functional abilities as a person progresses from early stage to moderate stage Alzheimer's disease. This might also include looking at changes in mood, behavior, and personality. We'll outline the common issues or concerns with which we have to be focused during the moderate stage of Alzheimer's disease. We'll spend some time discussing medications and treatment options to manage the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and those associated with dementia as well. And along with that, we'll include some discussion on other strategies or interventions with which we might approach Alzheimer's disease symptoms. And lastly, we'll be focusing on concerns related specifically to being a caregiver. So first off, we know Alzheimer's disease is a risk associated with aging. It's not a normal part of aging. Um, and it has some very definite, what we call hallmark features that we can see on autopsy. And that's what you're looking at in the picture. And that's the amyloid plaque. There's a somewhat predictable flow or sequence to how the changes occur, but it's unique to everybody. When we talk about Alzheimer's disease in the very beginning, we're talking about an insidious onset with progressive decline. What does that mean? That means that we look at the past, maybe the last two, three years, maybe the last three, four years, and we can't identify a specific time that the symptoms started. It's only as we look collectively at how symptoms have become more manifest or more prominent over time that we can begin to identify roughly when changes began to occur and how they've occurred over time. So it is literally like a snake in the grass. It sneaks up on us. The Predominant symptom that we notice first off is forgetfulness, but we notice also that other areas of the brain may be affected as well, and specifically that can include language, the ability to use words, to formulate thoughts, to have more complex decision-making processes. We can look at calculations or the ability to solve problems orientation to time and place is another area that can become affected early on. And then we can see changes in judgment or decision-making processes. So the initial symptom is memory loss. And then we notice over a period of time that we see changes in a person's ability to function as well. And when we're doing a workup for Alzheimer's disease, what we want to make sure of is that there is nothing else that can be accounting for the symptoms. And the most important thing is never do we make a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease in the context of delirium. What is that? Delirium is what occurs when somebody becomes ill or has medications that can cause uh, significant confusion as a side effect. So let's just review real quickly. In the early stage of Alzheimer's disease, you would have noticed that over a period of, say, two to four years, your person would have been experiencing changes in short-term memory. And let's remember that in the very early stages, it's short-term memory that's affected. That's what they did five minutes ago, what they had for breakfast, what they did two weeks, even two years ago. One of the challenges in recognizing Alzheimer's disease in the early stage and getting to a point of diagnosis is the fact that in very early stage, people can compensate. They can cover up for some of the weaknesses or difficulties that they're having. We frequently see in, in the clinic people coming in um, and taking copious lists, uh, making notes. Um, and they've got stickers all over to help them remember uh, what it is they need to do, where they need to be, what they've heard from the doctor. But over time, 
those lists don't make sense to them anymore. So they will have taken notes throughout the whole visit and at the bottom not be able to understand or interpret what's been written. And so they become more repetitive. They ask more of the same questions, which obviously is a logical uh, side effect of having short-term memory problem. If I don't remember, I'm going to ask. So when we see this picture of insidious onset over a period of two to four years, gradually becoming more prominent, affecting their function, affecting their language, their ability to problem solve, to be oriented to time and place, and to not have those coping strategies work anymore. The stage is set for moderate stage Alzheimer's disease.